Kai here. So uh, today, uh, I'm going to just make a very quick uh, video on how to create your own uh, chat on shippings. Okay, so um, when you create a new listing, okay, you you will have to go to the uh, shipping information. Okay, there are a few choices for you to choose from. Okay. Uh, this is Q Shipping Group and this is the uh, Shop Shipping Groups. Okay? These are the existing uh, shipping methods that I created previously. Okay, So if you want to uh, create yours, you should be able to see uh, edit shipping rate here. So go to these, select, okay? and then go to the <coughs> Shop Shipping Group. Okay? Then from here, from here you can uh, you know uh, create your own uh, shipping details. Okay. For the example, let's take this. One. Okay. So for this example, I set one of the uh, shipping method as Q Express. Okay. So uh, the cost is four dollars. But recently, Q Express has increased the price to four fifty. So you might want to change this or you might want to uh, value add your customers and just stick to uh, this price. Okay. It depends on how you price the item as well as what are the values that you want to give for your customers. Right? So if you want to have a new shipping, let's click on add and then you can select either free, free on condition or charge. Okay? For charge, you can put non-registered meal or standard non-registered meal means to say uh, is for normal post stamp, stamp posting from uh, same post okay? and you have to take note that for non-registered meal sell, seller has to take all responsibility uh, when non-receipt claims are occurred meaning to say if the shipping is gone uh, is seller have to be responsible and they have to be re shipped uh, the lost uh, items so I would not recommend uh, you to use normal non-register meal if the item is probably ten dollars or more. You know, because the uh, reason for not using non-register meal is that firstly the delivery times takes three to five working days or even longer. Secondly, uh, it it uh, don't, doesn't have a tracking number, so it's very hard to. There will be a lot of dispute lah, between you as a seller and the customers. Okay? So I strongly recommend to uh, go for standard meal for most of uh, for your uh, listing. Okay? Unless your product is those one two dollars kind of products where my people are not willing to pay for high shipping cost. Then I would suggest that uh, you either bundle it to make it a higher value so that they will be willing to pay for a registered meal uh, Price okay, this minimum is is at least two dollar and eighty five cent. Okay, that's a minimum price. Then. Or you just have to you know, uh, put it using a normal meal. Lah. You have to remove. You have to meal them back again. If let's say you the the delivery company lost the parcel, as you know, previously there are a lot of cases where by the delivery man throw away a lot. Of Parcel because they they can't manage it, they just throw in your dustbin. I think there's a few cases for this. Okay, but we send up with the um, registered meal. Okay, they that I have to you know send it all the way to the customer your customer delivery address. Okay, so for the title is only for your own references. Okay, so you can just put the registered article. Shipping rate it depends on the size of your products, okay? the size and weight. Okay? So you have to check with the respective uh, logistic company how much they are charging. For simple, you can just go to your website and, and key in accordingly, and they will show you uh, the price. Okay? And then, if you want to go by quantity, okay? so for example, if the, they purchase one quantity okay 
for every one quantity, uh, there will be an increase of four dollars. Okay, for every product, I mean to say every single product of yours would require uh, an additional shipping of four dollars. Okay, so if you put in two. Means to say that for every two quantity, two quantity that the customer purchase, they would just have to pay a shipping of four dollars. Okay, this is how, how it goes, right? And then uh, for this enter shipping rate, okay, is similar to uh, is a customized uh, rate. Uh. So example, if I put it in this way so the explanation is that for quantity 1 to 3 it will be a base shipping rate of four dollars okay so if the buyer bought more than four and over there will be an additional two dollars okay so the total shipping fee that the customers have to pay will be six dollars okay so this is how, how it goes okay if you have overseas shipping, you can also click on this and uh, edit accordingly. I normally don't do overseas shipping for Q uh, using Q Q10 uh, because uh, I would suggest to use other platform, you know, such as uh, uh, Shopify to create own website. Okay, so for this time we are we will not go in, in depth into this. Okay, so and this part. Okay, register options uh, when the customer buy other items from your store say other than these products you can uh, bind them okay bind them uh, and this means that seller will only have to pay a one-time shipping it's 12 o'clock all the products that was purchased from you you will helps to uh, incre increase uh, the value that you can provide your customers you don't have to pay much for shipping, uh, and it you will help you will help you to increase your average order value as well. Okay, so you can just play around and see how you want it uh, to to be set. You know, how how you want it to be. Okay, so with this, um, okay, before I end, I also just share with you. Q shipping group, okay. What Q shipping group is, is fixed, so they will be using um, Q Express, okay. Q shipping group at least more for the Q Prime now. so they will be using uh, Q Express for, as well for the shipping methods. You don't have to do anything about this, okay. When you select this um, Q shipping group, okay. When you need to fulfill any orders, right? You just have to uh, go to request for pickup. Okay. Once you go to request for pickup, you can select the date that you want it. Want the uh, delivery man to ship to collect from you. Depending on how many parcels you have, just select and then the pickup address. Request it. Normally, when you request following day you will the delivery man will uh, come to your house to collect okay, or whatever address that you have indicated okay. so this all about it okay and i hope that uh, this will help you all to uh, release your product more effectively uh, do subscribe to my uh, youtube channel for more information and if you have anything you can also contact me so I see you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.